Violet Wutier is one of my favorite Thai artists and she has a new single. Not really new, it's been a month. But I've been waiting, I've been uh, looking forward to actually doing this reaction. As I've said, she's one of my favorites. So, let's get to it. It's called Favorite Mistakes. Hmm. This doesn't sound like any of the songs that she has released so far. Uh, it's very interesting. Um, I feel like that was the chorus. So she opened with the chorus. And she's so obvious that in terms of tonality, she's trying to sound very seductive. So, and based on the title, I feel like this is something like a temptation type of song. I wonder if I'm right. Um, and she looks very, very sexy. I mean, the... The, the that's the image that she's projecting like very very sexy okay let's see Yeah, so I'm right. It's the chorus. I really have never heard her sing this way before. Um, great, because she's showing her range. The other thing is that the the track isn't so fast, but it is meant for you. It is meant to be danced to, but not that fast. So I feel like um, it's more like, I, I guess I'm right, that it's more like a, a dance of seduction rather than like a, happy party kind of dance second i like how she keeps on contrasting the melody line per line it keeps on changing okay let's see so that this is the second melody so the first so that the first two lines that i caught that was one melody and then this part is a second melody so she's making it sound more dynamic because she keeps on changing them. Okay. Even there, the last line has a different melody than the, the, the rest of the verse. I think this is the first time I've seen her dance. Oh, interesting. So then the second the second part of the song after the first chorus, after she's well, second chorus, after the second chorus. This is entirely different in terms of tempo, in terms of melody, and apparently in terms of lyrics, it's totally different from the first part. Let's see how the lyrics are going to be. Okay. She's creating more like urgency. Me, 
that's an intelligent approach after the first part of the song where she was just sort of inviting the guy over, you know, trying to seduce her. The second part, you know she's progressing the narrative because now she's sort of rushing, creating some urgency to try and get the guy to her. What? <laughs> like a uh... what? <laughs> what was the last part? Huh? That is interesting. Okay. Well, I I like it. As I've said, I think she's sort of showing her range. I have never really heard her sing this way. Um, I love how she progressed the story of the song. The first part is more seduction, and then the second part was more uh, like urgency to try and get the guy to her. I like that. She's, it's a very intelligent way of presenting music. Um, I would. I know that she has another song that I did not react to, which is "Dancing on a Graveyard." Um, maybe I'll do that next time. But for the I have always loved her i love that she has creative control over her music i love that she actually creates writes her own music and hope she continues doing that if i hope that you like it so if yet if you did like it please give this a thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification button and of course um share the video if you can also if you have any requests if you want to respond to this video if you have questions leave them in the comment section below also you can get in touch with me in any of the social media links that you see on your screen right now Thank you.